Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland here, doing a, uh, a personal box of Star Wars, top Star Wars evolution for uh, for Prestige World on the Breakers.tv stream, who selects the, looks like he wants the Cheese Wedge Pizza Slice? No, 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 this is a Star Destroyer, Curtis. This is a Star Destroyer. He says Isosceles Star Destroyer. Come on, man. That's that's most that's my artwork right there. That is most definitely a, a very exact rendition of a star destroyer from the hit movie series Space Opera Star Wars. <laughs> All right. There's the one of one kin right here. They don't have Halloween in the Star Wars universe. All right. Lushy McBear has graced the the uh, some uh, the cover of some boxes before for random breaks. All right, what are we looking for again? Two two hits per box, Curtis. Thanks for grabbing this, man. All right, let's see what we got in here. I guess I don't know if there's Halloween or not, right? Maybe there is. I don't know. I know there's Christmas in Star Wars. That is that is a fact. Judging from the Christmas specials, but no mention of Halloween in the extended universe, and in the uh, you know maybe I should write some maybe I should write a book, you know. Shadows of the Empire Halloween edition, you know. Rogue Squadron Halloween. Uh, speaking of speaking of Rogue, Prestige World, have you seen the uh, Rogue One, uh, the new, the latest Rogue One trailer? Uh, I think it's. I think it looked great. Looks very enjoyable. You're trying to limit your exposure to new materials. How, why, why? Why would you do that? You, you don't want your mind to be sullied? Or are you trying to... Oh, but you watch it. Oh, I see. Are you trying to not watch as much as possible so you can go into watching Rogue One like... Gotcha. Okay, that's... Okay, I misread that. Yeah, that's... Okay, I realized that's what you meant after I read what you said. You like you said I like watching movies without knowing too much. Yeah, I was on I for the Force Awakens. I try to put myself on as much media blackout uh, as possible. You know. But I'm the sort of dude that can that can get a that can that can have that can be spoiled about something and it wouldn't or be you know read a spoiler but not be spoiled. You know. Doesn't bother me that much. You can still enjoy the movie. Because people can say, oh yeah, so and so is so and so's father. But until, but that's nothing un until you actually are in that moment. You know? Alright, there's Mace Windu, who specifically asked George Lucas, hey, can I have a lightsaber that's purple? And Lord George Lucas says, sure. Okay. There's Princess Leia. In case you're wondering, there's no, uh, if you're watching at home. If you're following along at home, that's not numbered. If you're playing at home, these ones are also not numbered. These ones maybe? Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Banta Pudu un solo. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe if I move my mic closer to my mouth. Banta Pudu un solo. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. There, that's my job of the hut impression. The Wanawanga is the guy that's outside. He does that. All right. Yeah, 10 out of 10, says Kurt. I know. Procedural. It's just, it's what I do. It's what I do. You want bad Star Wars impressions? I'll do it. No! Remember that? No! And everyone cringes. And you're like, come on, this guy. Ruining this guy. That guy also ruined that guy, but that's more in a literary sense. 
I like him right where he is. That's what Jabba said. Eat you, da. How rude. Remember that part, Prestige World? Everyone remembers that. Oh, yeah. The one longer. <laughs> Sand. It's coarse. It's rough. It gets everywhere. <laughs> that's his. That's that's me doing Christian Hayden. Uh, Hayden Christensen doing doing acting. I like fixing things. When's Lando going to show up here? I'm a human and my name is Anakin. Mwah. Hello there. Huh? With oh, a delightful, delightful Scottish accent. Aaron, I'll see you later, man. Bye, Chunk. Hello there. Many Bothans died. <laughs> um, here's a line that me and my, me and my friends like to make fun of uh, with Padme. In, in the Star Wars movies. Um, <laughs> the early Star Wars, the writing is just so bad in the prequels. Like, come on, George. But um, there's a part where, where they, they have Palpatine in power, right? I don't know where, I don't have a Palpatine card here. But but they give him they give emergency powers and then you have Padme going, so this is how democracy dies, to thunderous applause. You know, and you're just like, oh my God, so effing cheesy. But now we say that all the time. Like we, I'm, I'll be watching like something bad about Hillary or something bad about you know Trump. Either one of those. Something bad about Gary John. And it's just like, and I'll just we'll just look at each other. And he's like, this is how democracy dies to thunderous applause. Now the embarrassing thing is is that I've watched those pre those GD prequels a lot. So <laughs> that's the embarrassing part is that I've watched them enough to know those lines. So that's. So the egg is on the egg is on my face because I obviously know those lines. How do I know those lines? Because I've watched them a lot. All right. Nien <laughs> Nub. I'm glad he I'm glad he's back. The Force Awakens. A little racist? No? No. No. Not not in the not in the original trilogy. Prequels, maybe. Remember how bratty Luke was in, a, in New Hope? What's that? It's like, shut up, Luke. God, I hate that guy. See, that, that looked exactly like... That looked exactly like the picture I drew on the thing. There's Yoda. That scene was pretty badass, actually. That was pretty good. Uh, R2-D2 is a lot like mid-90s or late-90s Batman movies. R2-D2 in the prequels were like mid to late-90s uh, late Batman movies where just any gadget will just appear and then, you know, saves the day. Yeah, he had to go to Tachi Station to buy power converters and he's just so whiny about it. And that would lead them home. <laughs> it's like, God, what a wuss. I used to, I used to do, I used to have a good, uh, uh, I know it's not a pod racer, but I used to have a good pod racer, pod racer sound. Uh, you know, where you'd be like, doo -doo 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 -doo. that's my pod, that's my pod racer sound. Doo -doo 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 <laughs> See? Got pod racer voices, Curtis. I I don't know if I'm missing any numbered cards. I I'm assuming you would have yelled at me if I'm Why do I know pod racer sounds? Probably because I've watched that damn movie too many times. And I still complain about it, so the joke's on me. Ray! Part of the resistance. 141 out of 170. I think Nick Jaspi says that he finds Ray more attractive than Felicity Jones. Hmm. I think I'm more of a Fel Felicity Jones fan, but. To each their own, to each their own. Oh, there's, there's Luke.
Nice. It's it's an old code, but it checks out, Curtis. It's an old code, but it checks out. Oh, Ghost Anakin. So we might see Donald Glover as Lando. That's what I heard as well. Yeah, bring Lando back. All right. Oh yeah, I I I got him, Curtis. I was just sa saving him up for for a night like this. <laughs> Kylo Ren. I think I think he may have unveiled. I think he may have may have unveiled the uh, the the mask a little too early. The unveiling was a little too early. Felicity Jones is the uh, new girl, in uh, in Rogue One. Uh, Jin, I think. Something like that. Oh, Jun, not Jin. Jun, Jin, J Y N. Yeah. Is is Finn Force strong, or do they just get lightsaber tra uh, training in uh, you know in the Force Awakens? Stormtroopers do that. Remember how this? Remember how this was just on a. Uh, that's it. I'm done with the break. But nice autograph, nice relic. But more about me, Curtis. Um, remember how this was just on like a little spinning thing? You just go. And they just spun it around. They just stuck the camera right here, and it would just go around and around. That's how they did it. That's all it would do. It was just in a stationary area. So there you go. There we go. Yeah, we used to we used to we used to blast wombats back home in our in our T16s back home. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Personal boxes. Curtis will probably do the two others sometime next week. So stay tuned for that entertainment. We'll see you next time. jazbeeshobbyland.com.